Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Montefusco and I'm a lover of all things when it comes to makeup, fragrance, and beauty. And today is another Indie Fragrance House First Impressions. Woo -woo -woo. So I'm super excited. I'm trying a new indie brand to me. It's called Arcana Craves, Arcana Craves. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's either Arcana Craves or Arcana Craves. Sorry, but I heard about this through the Indie Makeup and More subreddit, which is like my favorite subreddit. This is an indie fragrance house that is known for their gourmands. It's known for their gourmand layering notes. And they recently just restocked like their whole entire shop and they were having a really good sale. So I actually ordered 10 full-size fragrances, like fragrance oils. They come in these little like vial bottles, whoops. Uh, I went a little bit crazy. And uh, because they don't really offer like samples very easily or on their website like at all. So I was like, you know what? I'll order full size. A lot of these are just like super sweet, gourmand smelling and sounding fragrances that I think I'm gonna love. And they actually gave me an extra for free. So I ordered 10, they gave me another one. So I have 11 fragrances that I'm gonna be smelling today. And it's gonna be crazy, but it's gonna be great. So if you are looking forward to hearing my thoughts on these, I have a really good mix of their blends and their layering notes. Please, please, please keep on watching. So this first fragrance seems to be from their regular Arcana Wildcraft line, and it's called Lemon Shortbread. And I cannot find like a scent description of this. So I'm gonna assume it has like lemon notes, kind of like cookie notes, sugar notes, that kind of thing, but I don't have a note breakdown. And I personally love super like gourmand lemon inspired fragrances like um, uh, Posey Versailles. Oh, I love that fragrance. To me, it's like a lemon orangey citrusy cake. Um, I also really love Lyra from Zerzhov. Again, just like ice lemon pound cake goodness to me. So I think I'll like this one, but let's give it a try. And this was the free one, by the way. This was the one that they gave me for free. Oh yeah, <laughs> that smells really good. It smells like a lemon cookie. There's this shop here in Knoxville, Tennessee. It's called um, Ham and Goodies. I forgot the name. It's called Ham and Goodies. And they make the best iced lemon cookies I've ever had in my entire life. And this smells like Ham and Goodies lemon cookies. If you are a East Tennessee native, and you want to smell like ham and goodies lemon cookies. Oh my God. This is like spot on to that. Mm, it just smells like an iced lemon cookie. There's nothing more I can really say. I would love to smell like this. <laughs> and to me, it is very different from Lyra because Lyra to me is like an iced lemon pound cake. It's very cakey and lemony. Um, but the lemon isn't as like, like astringent as this lemon. This is a bit more like acidic. And then to me, Versailles is just a whole other ball game with the orange blossom, orange like coconut cake kind of vibe. This is just straight up iced lemon cookie. It is lovely. Thank you for the freebies. I really, really do like it. So lemon shortbread from Arcana's Wildcraft uh, line. Wonderful, great. We'll be trying this on my skin. And I just wanna let you all know as always, but in case you're new, um, if you want to hear fully fledged reviews on fragrances that I try or anything I try during the month, actually, including like makeup and stuff, um, then stick around for my monthly review roundup videos. That's where I rank everything I tried during that month and I give you all full thoughts, reviews, whatever. These are just first impressions and fragrances can really appear and perform differently on the skin versus on paper. Just want you all to know that. So all of these I'm super excited for, so I'm not gonna say that every time, but the next fragrance I'm gonna try is called Pumpkin's Crave Bread. So this to me, this just sounds amazing. Let me read you the notes, like you just have to hear this. So sweet pumpkin flesh with warm baking bread, barley malt, cassia, maple candy, and pumpkin spice. This almost sounds like pumpkin bread combined with like actual bread from the oven. And I've been really interested in trying fragrances that have like a bready, like yeasty note. It's something that intrigues me. So I'm excited to give this a try. Let's give it a try. Mm. I smell pumpkin and spices. Yeah, there's definitely something maple-y to this. Mm, this smells really good. I'm not getting like yeasty bread, like from the oven vibes. I feel like those like bready touches are almost making this smell like a pie crust. 
So I could see this smelling like a pumpkin maple spiced pie. I still love it. It still smells really good. Um, of course, when it comes to fragrances like this that have like pumpkin notes, this is not at all for this season. So it's not for spring and summer. But come fall winter, I could definitely see myself wearing this. Mm, I'm definitely gonna try this on the skin too. To be honest, I could see every fragrance I tried today being a hit. So this could just be me just like raving about this fragrance line. Mmm, that smells really, really, really good. And it's kind of making me hungry for some pumpkin pie. So yeah, I like that one a lot. So this next one is called Peaches Crave Dolce. This to me sounds like it could be a really good gourmand for the spring and the summertime. So let me read you the description. It says peach gelato and pistachio gelato with three golden bakery cakes. That sounds lovely. I love a good cake note. I love gelato. The best gelato I ever had was in Italy. Does not compare to the stuff here. Anyways, let's give it a try. I'm excited. Mm -mm. I don't like this one. The peach note smells very artificial. When I want to smell peach, I want to smell a juicy, sparkling peach. You're just like taking a bite out of and the juices are like running down your face. This to me almost looks like a peach candy, like those peach candies from like Haribo or something. I don't like that smell. The pistachio smells good. It gives it a bit of nuttiness. And there's also just something in here that's very sharp that to my nose, I'm just not a fan of. Yeah, overall, I'm not a fan of this one. It's too artificial smelling for me. I want more of a natural peachy vibe. It's not giving me that. It's not terrible, but I don't like it. So yeah, this is gonna be a no for me. I'm not gonna try this on my skin. This one I'm super excited about. It's one of their layering notes and it's their whipped cream layering note. So this is just supposed to smell like whipped cream and you can layer it with stuff to get a bit more of a whipped cream vibe. So the notes say, chilled heavy cream is deeply infused with Tahitian vanilla and then whipped into soft white peaks. Sounds like the whipped cream I make. So let's give it a try. I hope it gives me that homemade whipped cream goodness that personally I would love to smell like. Yep, <laughs> it does. It just smells like a very light whipped vanilla kind of scent. It's not too cloying. I could see someone adding this and layering this, like, you know, the oil says, to a fragrance where they want a soft gourmand vanilla touch. It's not a vanilla extract vanilla. It's not, but it's also not like a powdery vanilla. This is definitely a gourmand vanilla, but it's very soft and very subtle and just very pleasant. I could even see someone wearing this on their own when they just want an easy reach and they just want to smell like sweet vanilla whipped cream, you know? I feel like the name is accurate, the description's accurate, it smells really nice, and I also wanna try this on my skin. So the whipped cream layering note is definitely a hit. The next layering note is yellow cake, and this says the scent of a sweet, rich, golden bakery cake with vanilla bean. I love a good yellow cake. If this smells like yellow cake, I'm all for it. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Basically, I just love my gourmands, what can I say? Wow, this fragrance oil is a very dark yellow. I was not expecting that. Oh my God, this is so good. This is yellow cake. This is just straight up buttery, rich vanilla, but also light and fluffy yellow cake. Holy cow, they got this spot on. I am enthusiastic about this, wow. Wow, this is dang good. This is dang good. I'm gonna be trying this on my skin. Oh my God, wow, that is a hit. That is a hit. And related to that, I also have the white cake layering note. So this says vanilla infused white cake with a fine delicate crumb. This is equally sweet, but less rich and dense than yellow cake. So basically this is yellow cakes Softer, easier to wear, less rich sister. So because I love yellow cake so much, I have a feeling I'm really gonna like this one too. Let's give it a try. Yep, 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 <laughs> this is good. It's basically yellow cake with less of that buttery smell. Definitely less rich, definitely less dense. This could definitely be worn in the spring and the summertime because it's not too thick and heavy. 
it's equally as gourmand but it's just a bit easier to wear if you're not into like super sweet, dense kind of scents. So this I'm also very enthusiastic about. Oh, oh my God. This smells so good. Oh my God. Mm, I want to smell like this so bad. White cake is also phenomenal, phenomenal. So this one sounds like a spring summer gourmand dream and this one's called pineapple whip. So it's the whipped cream note that I just tried. So it's that heavy cream with Haitian vanilla with pineapple juice and pineapple chunks. Hopefully this smells more realistic than like their peach note. They did not like their peach note. So hopefully their pineapple note is a bit more of that like juicy, genuine pineapple note that I'm looking for in here. Oh, that smells really good. The pineapple it, it smells like actual like pineapple chunks in juice, which I love the smell of and I love eating pineapple. Mm. So that is very overpowering versus the whipped cream, at least at first. Maybe once it dries down, you get more of that whipped cream note. But the pineapple note is very realistic smelling. You definitely have to like pineapple to like this. I definitely want to try this on my skin to see if the whipped cream comes out more because right now all I'm getting is pineapple juice, but I'm not mad about it. I could definitely see this working for the spring and the summertime because of how refreshing that pineapple is. Mm, that smells really good. Yeah, pineapple whip, I will also be trying on my skin. So many hits today, dang, dang, dang. Next up, we have the gingerbread layering note. I've been trying to find the perfect gingerbread scent from like indie fragrance houses for what, I f what feels like forever. And I haven't been able to find one yet that's perfect. So I'm hoping this one will do it for me. So this one says the very essence of coziness, the vivid warmth of Lux ginger, uh, golden ginger, excuse me, Lux golden ginger, gingerbread, warm ginger cookies and delicately piped icing. Again, the description sounds like I'm gonna like this, but the gingerbread scents I've been trying are just, there's something that's not right about them. Either they're too dark, and like have too much, um, um, what's that stuff called? It's like dark syrup. It's not maple syrup. I forget that. Yeah. yeah. They either have too much of that or it's way too much frosting. It's just like not the right balance. So I'm hoping this is actually going to smell like gingerbread cookies or gingerbread house. You know, that's what I'm looking for. So a lot of gingerbread and a little bit of frosting. Oh, it's called molasses. That's what that syrup is called, molasses. I just thought of it. Ooh, I can already smell it and it smells promising. Yep, that smells like a gingerbread cookie. Mm. Whenever I smell gingerbread cookies, I always think of the winter time. It's a tradition for myself, my boyfriend, my boyfriend's brother and his girlfriend to go over um, his parents' house during like the Christmas season and we always make gingerbread cookies. It smells like her gingerbread cookies. Because she makes the dough, we just like cut them out and decorate them. It's a lot of fun. Mm. Again, is this appropriate for this time of the year? No, not at all. <laughs> but um, I could see myself really loving this during the holidays, like especially in like November, December, even January. So yeah. I will try this on my skin. I think it smells good. Maybe this is the gingerbread I've been looking for. I really hope so. So next up, our last layering note, we have caramel. So of course it's supposed to smell like caramel. Um, so it says a soft decadent gourmand hug of cozy sweetness, rich toffee, sticky maple, sugar cane, and taco bean absolute. So sounds good to me. Let's give it a try. I love a good caramel kind of smell. Hmm. Smells like caramel. <laughs> you wanna smell like caramel, this is it. It smells really good. It smells like caramel. That's really all I can say. Um, again, I don't think I'd wear this in the spring and the summertime. To me, this is very much fall winter vibes. But if you want to give a fragrance that you own more of a caramel vibe, or if you just wanna smell like caramel, I feel like this is pretty good. I will also be trying this on my skin. There's nothing really more to say other than, yeah, caramel. <laughs> So the penultimate fragrance, the second to last, we have Vanilla Craves Sugar Cookies. So the description says, warm sugar cookies are infused with three gourmand vanillas and a hint of vanilla musk. 
That sounds perfect. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I think this bottle leaked a little bit. It's, it seems like the cap's a little bit oily. Mm. Oh my God, this smells so good. To me, it almost smells similar to the white cake layering note. Let me actually compare them. Okay, they're not 100% the same. The white cake layering note, I feel like it's a bit stronger. This is a bit more subtle. You definitely smell something a little bit musky in here, but I like that. Yeah, it smells like vanilla cookies. It smells good. I want this on my skin. I will be trying it. Another hit. Who can believe it? And last, we have a one that leaked, sadly, but it's okay. It's Vanilla Craves Bread. So vanilla bean, soft brown bread, a drizzle of honey, and a hint of bakery yeast. Like I said, I'm interested in these bready kind of perfumes. We'll see if I like it. This one was a leaker, but it's okay. It didn't leak that much. I like this one too. There is something very bready to it, but it's also very sweet from the vanilla. Something a little bit yeasty. I don't smell honey. Maybe that comes out more on the skin. Again, I might be nose blind by now. <laughs> I've smelled so many fragrances today. But it smells really, really good. And I will be trying it on my skin. So that hit rate was amazing. 10 out of 11. I love and I will be trying on my skin. That's amazing. I may not have the time to try all of these during uh, the month of April. So some of these you may see in May, my May monthly review roundup. But it, you know, the ones I do try in April, I will be including in that video. And yeah, this is the biggest hit rate I have ever had from a first impressions ever for a fragrance brand or really for any first impressions video I've ever done. So 10 out of 11, what is that like in percentage? I'm not very good at mental math. So let me, let me pull out my phone calculator. That's 91%, 91%. That is amazing. So I'm in love with this brand. I feel like if you have a similar fragrance taste to what I have, um, this brand is probably pretty blind buy safe, at least thus far with my first impressions. Of course, I will tell you what I think in my monthly review roundup, but so far, I think they're pretty blind buy safe. And it seems like whoever is in charge of this indie brand, their nose and my nose are like very much the same. So I'm really excited about that. And this is a brand I definitely want to explore more of. So that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you like this video, please like this video. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. It also helps me know what kinds of content that you like to see on my channel. If you like me, please subscribe. I'd love to have you all here. I normally post two to three videos per week. And if you have anything to comment down below, any fragrance recommendations, any thoughts on this line, etc., 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 let me know. I love the chat. I love the talk. And yeah, it's like my favorite part of posting. So that is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and spending part of your day with me. And I will see you all next time.